welcome aboard. I'm Brian Jackson, Base Chief Pilot here at Los Angeles International Airport for United Airlines. Bring a smile, fasten your seatbelts, and get ready to soar. Who flies a plane? Normally, there are two pilots on every flight. Myself, known as the captain, and the first officer. Let me tell you what a first officer does. He, or she, will make sure all the information is gathered together and uploaded into all the airplane's equipment to make sure we get there safely. The captain will make sure he briefs the flight attendants, talks to all the passengers, and brings all the partners together for the safety of flight. What do you look for on a safety check? Now that we're here at the airplane, one of the most important things we can do are the safety checks, otherwise known as the walk around. And during the walk around, the pilots are going to check the important things such as the tires to make sure there are no debris, the engines for no leaks, and while doing the walk around, checking the fuselage or the body of the airplane for no dents from the previous flights or the vehicles that may have touched the airplane. This ensures the airplane is secure and ready for the pilot's safe journey. And now that we're done with the walk around, we can head on to the airplane to get ready for departure. How do you fly the plane? After we've completed the flight planning, done all the necessary safety checks, we come here to where the magic is. As you can see, there are lots of buttons, knobs, and levers that both pilots are responsible for, for the safety of flight. Come on, let me show you a few. Some of the buttons and switches we use here on the flight deck are the throttle, when pushed forward, allows the airplane to go faster and pulled back, slows the airplane down. Then there's the yoke, which allows the airplane to turn left or right. And when pushed forward, pushes the airplane towards the ground when you're in the air, or when you pull back, makes the airplane go higher. And finally, there are switches. Switches can be used for turn on things such as the lights to be seen at night, just as your car when you're driving at night, or turn them off when the daytime comes. How does a plane get up in the sky? Well, how does a plane so big get up in the sky? Well, that's a very advanced course. But for today, we'll talk about the simple part of it. Well, an airplane has wings. And when it's flying, there's air going over the top and underneath. Associated with the thrust pushing the airplane, when we pull back on the yoke and make the plane go up, the air beneath pushes the wing up with the associated thrust helps to make the air go higher. That's the basics. Can pilots sleep on long flights? Did you know there can be up to four pilots on a flight, depending on how long it is? For example, when we fly across the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean, flights can be up to 16 hours long airtime. So pilots need a break too, just like you do. So, for example, on a flight from LA to Sydney, Australia, that flight can be up to 15 hours, and we as pilots need to take naps too. So we have a location that we call the bunk bed, or the crew rest area, and this is what it looked like. Take a look. Do you have to speak another language to be a pilot? Merci beaucoup. That was a great question. English is the universal language of aviation. Being that the Wright brothers founded aviation right here in the United States, it is the primary spoken language for all aviators around the world. What type of language do we speak in aviation? Well, we have a special language known as the phonetic alphabet, and it goes Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Zulu. Can you say your name in the phonetic alphabet? Bravo, Romeo, India, Alpha, November. What is yours? My name is Clara, Charlie, Lima, Alpha, Romeo, Alpha. Xander, X-Ray, Alpha November Delta Echo Romeo. What do you do when you're not flying? Aviation is my passion and unites my family, but I do like to do things outside of work. When I'm at home, me and my 11 year old daughter like to play basketball. Horse is our favorite game. I may never win, but I'm always trying my hardest, just like you should. So, what do you do when you're not at school? Well, now you can see my office. Thanks for joining me on this virtual classroom. Well, it's time for me to go to work now. Next time you're on an airplane,
stop in the flight deck and say hello. I look forward to seeing you there.